So across the road here, they're really filling in all the ditches, uh, working all the time on them. And they're getting closer over here, but there's still a lot of ditches out this way that needs to be filled in. They got big piles of dirt over there. And uh, you can just imagine the dirt they're hauling in here to fill these up. And I'm glad you can see holes in the ditches over right there. And I'm glad it's fall because a lot of birds have babies in these ditches. But what I'm really glad about is like... Uh, there's a bunch of rattlesnake dens over here. And they're going to cover them up. But we've been worried that uh, if there is snakes over there, they might be pushing them our way. And was hoping not to see any. But we did get one uh, in the front yard the other day. Some of the front yard, well, all the front yard got chicken wire around it, but they can go through the gate. Even uh, when it's shut, it's shut back like this, so they can go right through the gates. And then they could come over here. And this is what I've been worried about. No chicken wire right here. So, uh, I think that's where it come through big one too so we were sitting out on the front porch in the evening and uh, it was getting dark and the pups and uh, Sonny was checking the fence line out here and Sonny found a rattlesnake stuck in the fence and uh, we got our flashlight because it was kind of dark and I uh, went to see make sure what he was barking about but it was right over here on this side. But was what was bad, it was trying to get out of the yard. And it got hooked into the chicken wire. So it was roaming this front yard for a while. I don't know how long uh, that thing was in the yard. And I don't like that at all. That's kind of scary. But, uh... We had to kill it to get it out of the fence because it was hooked in the fence pretty pretty good. But I'm glad Sonny, uh, they was patrolling the front yard. And I'm so glad uh, that he uh, found it. So I think them tractors over there are going to get a lot of snakes moving. If they're going back to their dens, looking for their den, uh, can't find them. They might head over this way. Who knows? So we're keeping an eye out for them. Because um, uh, this month, or November, they should be hi hibernating. And they're going to look for a place to do it. This is my last one I skinned. This is the first one that come this summer and got hooked up on the fence. So now i got two more to do, and I don't know if they're bigger than this one. Uh, I'll just have to wait to see and see how they turn out. But, uh, yeah, and they've all been big, big rattlesnakes. So we're just trying to be careful and watch where we put our hands. Bye.